Welcome to another installment of Red Cape Sports. Mitchell Bouchard here, and Bird is out in Edmonton actually scouting and doing a lot of research for Red Cape Sports. So, Bird, tell us what we're going to be talking about. And of course, we got some beautiful hockey coming along right here. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it, it only makes sense talking hockey. Um, with the fact that I'm currently in Edmonton scouting out the world juniors. So certainly a lot of fun. Um, just like Canada's finance minister, I also felt like I needed a vacation. So that's where I am. Uh, but no guys in all seriousness, um, unless you're, you're basically under a rock um, or basically not Canadian, um, you might not know, but much like Bitcoin vintage hockey cards are going bananas right now. And it, there are so many amazing buys, so many cards are kind of skyrocketing in price, and that's what we're here to talk about today, vintage hockey cards. Yeah, so obviously we've been talking about hockey for the longest time. You, Mike Stefano, you guys have been on it. Um, I'm going to kick things off, and I'm going to start with a major pick, a, a major player that, you know, uh, Kevin the Shark has talked about. Um, he's been grilling me about, and I didn't pay attention. But recently, Bird, what is going on with Yarmir Yager, and what is happening with Vintage? Oh my goodness, Yarmir Yager! And I mean, once again, shout out to Kevin the Shark. He's he's kind of pinpointed this since. Oh my goodness, it's been easily over half a year that Kevin have was saying, "Hey guys, don't be sleeping on Yarmir Yager, the NHL's second all-time points getter." Um, Yarmir Yager is a guy who's real, realistically done it all. Um, he's kind of grown that mullet. Um, he was Mario Lemieux's, you know, sidekick for many years. Um, New York Rangers he played for. Uh, regardless, I mean, Yarmir Yager was a phenomenal player. Um, I believe he's still playing somewhere overseas now. But what we've kind of seen is, thanks to the great 199 Wayne Gretzky, vintage hockey cards are kind of you know, going, going bananas right now, for lack of better words. And Yarmir Yager, among many, are definitely benefiting from this. Yeah, and I've been looking at the stats, and for the past couple of weeks, I've been paying attention to not only in terms of goals, but points-wise. And Yarmir Yager is unbelievable, and he's still playing professional hockey, I believe. But if you look all-time all -time points, Yarmir Yager um second he's got 19 1921 points um and of course Wayne Gretzky I don't know how he did it with the assist not sure how legitimate all that was but some other key points for Yager second all-time points third goals all time so if you're looking for a goal scorer Yager is third all time which Ovechkin I think will pass and then you also have third um games played so the third amount of games played by an NHL player. Pretty unbelievable. What else do you like about Yager, Bird? Uh, well, I mean, I think Yager, because of his longevity, I think he stretches across many decades. So if you're looking at, you know, someone my age, of course, I know exactly who your Mary Yager is. Um, someone who might be 40 years old will definitely know who your Mary Yager is, and so on and so forth. So I don't think it's necessarily one of those guys where you needed to be from a certain era to know who he is. I think he played long enough where many people know who he is. Um, and like I said, that iconic mullet uh, certainly brings him to um, kind of have... A, a recognizable face in the hockey world. So there's so many reasons to love Yarmary Yager. Yeah, I've been impressed with him. So Bird, Yager is going to be my number one pick. Who is going to be yours? Okay, so my number one pick um, is going to actually be a goalie. And I hear all the time, you know, don't invest in pitchers in baseball. Don't invest in wide receivers, tight ends, things like that in football, so on and so forth. And another rule, typically speaking in hockey, is don't invest in goaltenders. However, I am going to say that Dominic Hasek is the number one investment for me personally right now in the hockey card world. And this is a guy who I personally believe he is the greatest goaltender to ever strap on the pads, Dominic Hasek. This man has the best save percentage in NHL history, a blastering .922. He's top 10 all-time goals against average. 
Okay, it, like this man is absolutely incredible. Um, what he did for Buffalo, what he was done, um, even for the Senators for a little bit. He, this man is absolutely incredible. But the reason why I like him so much right now, his PSA 10 upper deck card is $115. You can actually also find that a little bit cheaper on Com C for $98. But the card that I've been picking up is this PSA 9 for $48. $48, you can arguably speaking, have the greatest goaltender of all time in Dominator Dominic Ashik. Well, I remember you and I, Bird, when we were kids, we were playing, um, I believe it was NHL, I don't know, it was like NHL 1999 or something. Dominic Ashik, man, like what a name in the NHL field, especially what in the 90s, 2000s, like, dude, Dominic Ashik, like in modern hockey, he was still wearing the old helmet, right? Dominic yep. Hasek, if for those of you that don't know, when you think of hockey goalies, Dominic Hasek and Martin Brodeur are like right up there. Um, oh, for sure. Very interesting. I like the idea. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to do more research myself in terms of how he played overall because I was so busy. Just, you know, had him living with us, um, you know, when we were watching hockey pretty much. So, Beautiful pick, so that's going to be your pick. Um, another pick I have is going to be Brett Hall. Now, Brett Hall, Bird, I don't know if you remember, but when we were growing up here in Canada, Brett Hall finished his career with the Detroit Red Wings. He was known for obviously scoring goals, but he was also a one-time king. I remember every time when we would watch Brett, like hockey highlights, Brett Hall would have these beautiful one-timers, and it was they would always talk about how fast his one-timers were. I got to look up his fastest one-timer, but I believe they were well over 100 miles an hour. Just unbelievable sure. stuff. Um, a couple of key notes for Brett Hall. He scored 86 goals in one season, which is unbelievable. 86 goals, and you're talking about in less than 80 games. And again, one-time machine. Um, he did hoist the cup for Detroit, um, I believe when he was 37 years old. And another cool note about Brett Hall is he is a big time franchise player for the St. Louis Blues. So Bird, what are your thoughts on Brett Hall? Um, one of the things that I believe that, that you missed there is, of course people will have to uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Brett Hall is actually uh, the all time highest points getter by an American born player. And yes, I believe he. I believe he, he yes. Is. So he did pass uh, Mike Medano there, and that that you know might be another reason to pick him up. You know, um, if Americans do end up joining the hockey market, coming in from football and basketball and whatever else, um, I, hey, at the end of the day, he's he's a phenomenal player. If you like this lap shot, if you like American-born players, then for sure he's going to be a good pickup. And not only that, but Brett Hull is number four all time for goal scored, just under. Um, Yager, he's only he's at 741, and he, so he's a top five goal scorer. And yes, he is the only one in the top top 25. Sorry, he's the only one in the top yeah 25 for American goal scorer. The second would be Madano. You're right at 560. So, man, in terms of an American hockey goal scorer, Brett Hall is number one by by a huge stretch, and his card prices are severely undervalued if you were to compare the best american goal scorer compared to new players like the fact that he you can pick up his nine or his 10 for under 500 bucks and his raws you can pick up for under 50 bucks um i i see him right now so anyways brett hall huge pickup in my opinion yeah for sure um okay so of course i do have uh several vintage buys that I like to believe in. Um, however, for the sake in the making of this video, um, we're only going to select a few. So my second pick is going to be my probably one of my all time favorite players of all time. This man is single handedly the reason why I became a New York Rangers fan. They say it the best. Don't Messier. mess with the mess. Mark Messier. Messier. What more can I say? Love this guy. He is third all time in NHL points ninth all-time in nhl goals and he knew how to win 
This man is a six-time Stanley Cup champion. Basically, single-handedly brought the New York Rangers the Stanley Cup in 1994. This is a man who still, even even though he's retired and in the Hockey Hall of Fame, he's still relatively known. Um, if you if you eat Lay's chips, you know Mark Messier. He's in all those commercials. But Mitch, I gotta say, his card prices, I am I am mind blown. I I I fail to understand how. And of course, not knocking on Austin Matthews, but only having been in the league for X amount of time. How come Austin Matthews cards are more expensive than Marc Messier? This is the third all-time points leader in NHL history. Right now, if you want to buy his raw card, you can find it on ComC. Uh, very good to uh, excellent is $80. Or if you want to buy SGC 8, you're looking at around $250. So to me, that's saying Marc Messier is extremely undervalued. Like I said, Mitch, Marc Messier is one of the greatest hockey players to ever strap them up. Like he, he's phenomenal, and I, I understand it's an SGC eight, but for two hundred and fifty dollars, that's that's a pretty good find right now. Unbelievable. Um, you're right. Uh, you know Messier. He well, he hoisted with uh, the great one, right? Of course. So. Yeah, I remember you're a huge fan of Messier growing up. Um, yeah, again, looking at his stats as well, top 10 for goals and, of course, points way, way, way up there. Um, Canadian, which is cool. Um, but, yeah, 100%, just looking at how many games he played and how much of a legendary hockey player he is, he was very consistent over his career. Um, another pick I'm going to go with, um, especially because, you know, we're close to the border of Detroit. But a player who I I could see being pretty undervalued, um, still relatively affordable when you consider he's one of the greats. And 100% one of the greats for Detroit, it's going to be Steve Iserman, a guy that oh, scored sure. 39 goals his first season. Again, one of those players that, you know, who is equivalent to, you know, a 10-year-old growing up with a... Luka Doncic or LeBron James that's just passing by, you don't realize until after the fact how good they were. Steve yeah. Iserman is, is one of those players who I believe only played with Detroit his whole career. Yeah. Big time franchise player. Um, again, huge fran franchise player. Very consistent team captain. Um, all 10, number 10 for goals all time. Um, and I don't really see that changing anytime soon. And then you also have in terms of, you know, just points. He's he's very dominant. Very dominant player. Seven all-time in points. And just, you know, Steve Eisenman, very loved, very beloved player in a great vintage pickup, in my opinion. I oh, couldn't agree more. Um, obviously, before we hit, uh, you know, before uh, we picked up the phone and started calling each other, I was kind of saying, hey, you know what, Stevie I is, is definitely a good pick. Um in hockey town he's definitely loved but even after he retired he's still proving how great he is with uh his uh pardon me his work as a general manager um finally brought tampa bay uh, that stanley cup and of course if he does end up coming back to detroit as a gm he's just going to be loved all that much more so steve eiserman definitely a great pickup um now because of the fact that you did say detroit I am going to go with, arguably speaking, one of their biggest rivals. Um, and I'm going to grab my third and final pick plus the bonus because I feel like the bonus is so important. I'm going to have one as well. I'll have a bonus as well. Okay. Okay. Now, um, how else do I put this? Matt Sundin. I'm just going to flat out come out and say it. Matt Sundin is a Leaf legend. And if you guys have listened to Red Cape Sports before, or even myself and Mike DiStefano, um, you all know, like, Toronto Maple Leafs have the biggest sports market, arguably speaking. People go crazy for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, Matt Sundin is, I believe he is the all-time Leafs point scorer, um, because he played so much of his career with the Leafs. But this is a guy who, he's top 25 all-time in NHL goals, and top 30 all-time in points. Like I mentioned before, he's a Leaf legend. What hasn't he done? Um, my grandma, uh, shout out to Grandma Smith, she, she's mentioned numerous times that when she dies, she wants to be buried in her Matt Sundin jersey, and she'll remind everyone. Um, that's how much Matt Sundin means to her and to Leafs Nation. But Mitch, 
Right now, you can find his PSA 10 upper deck card for $70. Or if you want to go one step further, you can find his PSA 10 OPG Premier card for just $98. And again, not to knack on anyone else currently playing, but when you look at a legend like this, Matt Sundin, who is, you know, longtime captain for the Toronto Maple Leafs, you can find him PSA 10 underneath $100. That to me screams undervalued. Oh, hundred percent, and and uh, of course Kevin was all on him too. I know he's got tons of them. So, yeah. Um, and then my bonus there uh, is going to be one of his teammates. Uh, this was the man that I was fortunate enough to meet, um, and he scared the living crap out of me. This is Ty Domi, Ty Domi, who has the third most penalty minutes of all time and the most fights of all time. <laughs> Now, I understand, okay, well, why would you want to, like, you know, why would you want to invest in him? To me, uh, hockey fighting is slowly but surely starting to, it's starting to go away, right? It's kind of speaking, um, it's a lost art. And I believe Ty Domi, because he was such a prolific fighter, along with guys like Bobby Probert, um, Dale Howardchuck, and everyone else, I believe Ty Domi, for his price match, get this, OPG, BGS 9-5 rookie card, $26. $26. That's it. Wow. $26 is what you can find that for. And um, he came up as a New York Ranger in original six team as well. So to me, Ty Domi is for $26 PGS 9.5. You know, to have a, if you, again, this is a guy who you're not going to know of him just researching stats. This is a guy who you're going to know of if you know hockey. And that is ultimately why he made my bonus pick. Dude, amazing. Um, another bonus one I have, um, very pricey and should be – actually, I was going to pick him up, um, but I thought he was kind of expensive a year ago, but I didn't do it. A player, and just staggering. I know I talk about it, Bird, quite a few times, but Mario Lemieux, uh-huh. what he did was unbelievable. So if you guys don't know, Mario Lemieux is arguably – Wayne Gretzky has said it, that he's the greatest goal scorer of all time, which he isn't in terms of how many goals he got. But you got to remember, Wayne Gretzky got almost 900 goals in about 1,500 games played. Mario Lemieux didn't even play 1,000 games and got 690 goals. I'm looking eight all-time list. The guy didn't even play 1,000 games. Iserman got two more goals. But he also played 600 more games. Yeah. So when, yeah, you, when you just think about that, what a dominant player. So, of course, he hoisted the cup big time. He owns, he literally owns the Penguins. So yep. when you think about a legendary player, um, and of course, we have to mention Wayne Gretzky. You cannot go wrong with Wayne Gretzky. But of course, you're going to be paying a lot because... He is the number one player. And Bird, let's talk about it. Wayne Gretzky is number one for all-time points, 2,857 points. Number two is Yager, who has 1,921. Unbelievable. Gretzky stands on his own. Just, mm-hmm. just it, it's does. not even close. It's not even if close. Wayne, if Wayne Gretzky would have never scored a single goal in his career, he would still be the all-time points leader. Like just let, let say that, that again. In. Say that again, Bird. If Wayne Gretzky would have never scored a single goal, he would still be the NHL all-time points leader. This is a man who's he's broken so many records. Pardon me, he shattered so many records. Um, he he is literally known as the man who owns behind the net. Like he was incredible. Um, you can say what you want about the era he played in, but regardless. It, it, like there's really no debate when you say who's the greatest hockey player of all time 99.9 percent of the time you're gonna hear wayne gretzky and of course hockey's changed just like anything else that's almost getting in the conversation of will chamberlain lebron but in hockey let's just put it this way wayne gretzky is the michael jordan of of hockey maybe even more maybe even more for sure Okay, so that's all we have for this installment. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I want to know, who are your vintage hockey pickups? Who have you picked up? Who are you eyeing out? Who has impressed you? But more importantly, 
Who have you been stacking? That's going to be very important. Also, don't forget to check out at Red Cape Sports on Facebook. We have a Facebook group. It's at Red Cape Sports. There we post tons of hockey, right, Bird? Tell them about our group as well. Yeah, that, that's a group where for sure that I believe there's a lot of people who at the start maybe didn't necessarily like hockey and even other sports such as soccer. But this is a group where everyone comes together through such a beautiful community. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you post them. And of course, the community as a whole is there to help you. So again, it's completely free. So take advantage of it. Beautiful. So we'll see you guys next episode.